हेलो गाइस कैसे हैं आप सब लोग नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट गोइंग बैक टू द रूट्स गोइंग ऑल नेचुरल आई मस्ट टेल यू व्हाई आई एम डूइंग दिस वीडियो टुडे द फर्स्ट रीजन इज दैट इट हैज बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम back in the days i used to do it very often very often and i felt at that point that they were really effective but i have stopped doing it now i don't know why so that's the first reason second reason being which is more important i don't know why i put it second it should be the first one so from the past few months i have been noticing that i have developed hyperpigmentation around my mouth and also i have developed some new freckles which were never there like never there and since i have moved to this region panama which is so so humid i'm noticing that i always always have you know some breakouts in this region sometimes it really looks like an acne and sometimes i feel because of the humidity in this region uh my skin tends to get oilier throughout the day and also i tend to develop you know these uh, i don't know what you call them but these are like heat boils very tiny and because of all of this i started to question my skin care the products that i was using the kind of routine that i was following where i made a lot of tweaks a lot of changes which i'm going to share an update in the next coming videos then i seriously started questioning it specifically my vitamin c serum because vitamin c is the key product that remove any sort of hyperpigmentation any sort of uneven skin tone but it seems like it's not working anymore i'm doing everything to make sure that my vitamin c serum doesn't run bad but i'm using it every single day every single day i'm really consistent i'm really particular when it comes to my skin care routine i don't use it at night but i make sure that i'm using it once every single day i'm storing it right away from light and heat and air but i don't know why it's not working the only good reason that i can think why this change is happening on my skin is maybe because of the weather because earlier i was in a dry weather and now i'm in a high high humidity weather and humidity does take toll on your skin and not just the skin but hair too so i decided why not go back the old way i started to research more on vitamin c the natural form versus synthetic form and what i found that the natural vitamin c occurs as a complex when you read about vitamin c the nature's vitamin c you will see all these new terms popping up like phytochemicals enzymes vitamin e minerals when they come together in contact with vitamin c they make vitamin c more effective and more absorbable into the human skin whereas as per these studies what i found the ascorbic acid is just one isolate of that entire natural vitamin c complex so i thought why not go the natural way why not just mix both of them into my skin care not like literally mix both the products together but you know keep using my vitamin c serum that i have and also these natural packs that includes these natural vitamin c complexes so i started to look for the fruits or the vegetables that have the highest concentration of vitamin c in them and i came across cantaloupe which has 36 mg of vitamin c in every 100 grams it's obvious for orange to be there which has like 53 mg of vitamin c in every 100 grams was and the most surprising fruits come vegetables were red bell pepper and yellow bell pepper you don't know red bell pepper has around 83 mg of vitamin c in every 100 grams whereas yellow bell pepper has 183 mg of vitamin c per 100 grams then i found tomato to have 20 mg of vitamin c you know every 100 grams and strawberries which have like 58 mg of vitamin c per 100 grams so i thought why not put it to test and try a 7 day challenge so i went ahead and bought all of them for the next 7 days i used each of these fruits as a 20 minute face pack and document every single night and the next morning how my skin looked and felt and here is my experience of using natural vitamin c in my skincare routine at night Hmm so starting with the very first night of the 7 days natural skin care challenge I started with the tomato I cut a small part first and then made multiple cuts into that so that I can get as much juice and I'm just just squeezing it so that it loosens up So now it looks ready for application let's go ahead so I started to apply it all over my face rub it directly onto all the areas not in, not forgetting the neck And every time I did this natural pack I focused on areas of concern where I have hyperpigmentation and the new freckles. I let it sit for 20 minutes and it was kind of dry at the end. It was quite easy and quick to wash it off. Although I did not notice any immediate impact on my skin. 
Later I followed up with my skincare routine, the products that I have been using for some time already. All through this challenge, I decided not to include any new skincare product or any new skincare step as I wanted to see the change this natural skincare can bring about. And all these products and steps that you see here are part of my regular skincare routine. So there is nothing new outside of these natural skincare vitamin packs. And I finished with the lip balm at the end. So that was it and now it's time to bed. So checking in the next morning, my skin doesn't feel any different. It's just like any other regular day. So this is the second night of this challenge and we are going ahead with yellow bell pepper. By the way, I never thought, never ever thought of applying this on my face. And today I'm doing it. Initially, I was thinking how to get the juice out literally. I thought of a great term. I decided to go ahead with this way of getting the juice out and once it is done, I applied it all over my face. This pack did give me a tingling sensation but as it dried up, the sensation completely subsided. I washed it off finally and followed up with my skincare routine. And checking the skin feel next morning, nothing special just like regular day. Night number 3, going ahead with strawberries. This tiny fruit was so easy to apply. And I let it sit for 20 minutes after it was completely dry, I washed it off. This was the first time in the 3 nights as I was washing my face, I could feel the difference in my skin. I felt my skin to be slightly even toned and brighter and later I followed up with my skincare routine and slept off. And this is how the skin looked in the morning. These pictures were taken after applying sunscreen. So moving on to the fourth night, this thing is getting more and more unexciting but I'm going to keep up. So it's time for some cantaloupe or melon on face. I applied it generously all over my face, quite messy. Let it sit for 20 minutes and I washed it off. And seriously, this time I did not feel much of a difference. And that's how the skin looked next morning, these pictures I took after applying sunscreen. So coming on to the fifth night, I had to repeat a fruit. Guess what I chose? I chose a strawberry because this was one fruit after which I really noticed a difference in my skin tone, appearance and texture. Let it sit for 20 minutes and washed it off and this is how my skin looked the next day. These pictures were taken post sunscreen. Whew, moving on to the sixth night. Tonight it's the red bell pepper skin treat. After I managed to get the juice out, I applied it on my face, let it sit for 20 minutes and I washed it off. These pictures were taken the next morning after sunscreen application. So finally, it's the last night, the seventh night of this challenge. I'm going to use orange juice, the fresh, fresh orange juice. Let it sit for 20 minutes and then I'll wash it off. So my skin did feel brighter after this. These are the pictures the next day I took after applying sunscreen. So here are the results, a side-by-side -side comparison from each day, though there is no remarkable difference evident here. And frankly speaking, I wasn't even expecting a phenomenal before and after, especially something that's visible in pictures. Up close in person, my skin looks slightly brighter with an added glow. Although I did not see any improvement in the hyperpigmentation and the breakouts. But yeah, let me know what's your thought on it and I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, stay tuned, stay beautiful.